welcome to another episode of Obscure Movie Review, and on this episode, the film that we're going to be reviewing is Video Violence. I don't know, the shoulders are a little big, but the color's good, so... I don't know. Well, do you think it'll shrink if I put it in the washer? No. Just don't put it in the dryer. This shirt's coming out of your check, not mine. Now, the mother asks the store 
Honor, Gary Cohen. She says, well, what's it rated R for? What's bad in it? And Gary Cohen says, well, there's nothing really too bad, but it's just extremely violent. There's, I think there's a decapitation in it, and it's a pretty violent, gory film. Well, the mother says, well, that's fine. He can watch it then. Gary couldn't believe it that just because that violence was okay to watch, but nothing else was okay to watch. And the soundtrack is, um, it's like all 80s synthetic music that's made, it's just made for the film. It's not, they're not like actual, um, songs or anything else. They were just directly made for the movie, and I really kind of like them. And if you notice in the beginning credit sequence, you hear it there. They like, it's a really, like, sort of catchy song. It's a little, like, um, on the, you could tell it was like they didn't have a big budget to make it, but... Overall, I really like the soundtrack, it, the synthetic sound of it, and um, if I'm going to put it at the end, in my credits, you should definitely check it out at the end, listen to the uh, full song during the credits. Okay, overall, I would give the film 6 out of 10 blood splats. I thought the story was fairly original, and I really did like it. And um, Now, of course, the acting wasn't so good, and there are some cheesy elements to it, but if you're in the 80s B-movies, 80s low-budget slasher-type films, I would definitely check this one out and that's all from obscure movie review and what the hell is that